Mr. Phil first and this video is part of my uh, modding attempt for Mass Effect 3 and uh, it's going to be part of my let's play. Uh, first off I want to say I'm sorry guys I haven't been releasing quite a lot of video lately because I've just like bought a house with my girlfriend and also f found a new work place so it there has been quite a lot of thing happening for me and uh, yeah didn't leave quite a lot of time left for mudding and less even for recording but uh, I just want to start resuming and um, I'm gonna show I'm gonna start by uh, showing you what mods I'm using which is something I should have used uh, oh, I should have used earlier but uh, just we're kind of too lazy to do it all right so while well, this is updating and I can't play I'm gonna show you which mods I'm using uh, there's this one Diana Allers I think I've spoke about it earlier and we've seen it in game too the Mass Effect 3 character texture overhaul by Ely08 if you can find their mod I'm not sure if it's a woman or a man that did these mod mods. You can find them on the... Hang on for a sec, I'm gonna find that real, real quick. Meanwhile, um, there's this mod by Getarex that I might use. Tally full makeover complete. Then again, I might not use it because I'm using a Smartic mod that modifies every quarion and I'm not sure it's going to go well with it. But if you guys want to test it, no trouble. Uh, meanwhile, I wanted to show where I got mods. Oh, there we go. Nexus. That's where you'll find most of the mods. Alright, so that's perfect. Let's forget about this thing. Alright, perfect. Um, gift fish. Better cabin music for Mass Effect 3. I have been using that mod previously. Right now, I'm not using it because I want to make sure that this Let's, let's Play doesn't have any bugs like the previous one. I'm not sure what caused the bugs in the previous one, previous one and I'm just not up to taking the risk. But this mod definitely makes things better in the cabin because we all know Mass Effect 3 didn't have amazing music in your cabin. And this one basically just puts some, uh, well, uh, Mass Effect 2 songs, the one at the end, uh, the one where you are on the collector ship, and it's just amazing. Uh, this one, I don't think I've been using it, but it looks quite good. Uh, let me show you this real quick. Uh, on uh, the Nexus, probably. Horography, if I remember correctly. And uh, it's a buff female tanked up. Or something like that. Probably wrote it wrong there. Let's just, yeah, that's probably gonna be better. Oh, yeah. Like, no, <laughs> it's not photography. Freaking Google. There we go. So, you can see right off the bat, it looks quite better. Not quite sure what it replaces. Maybe the. Hmm, which one? Intro outfit. Yeah, so, yeah, it looks very good, and you actually look like better. Look a bit ba more badass, like somebody who brawls like Shepard. So that's just great. And there's the Spectre logo too. So yeah, great, great add to uh, your your game. Not sure I've used it, but I should. The Lyra N7 ca carbon fiber armor. I'm not actually using all of this mod because I know there is something that you can add that will modify even... was it... Oh, 
I, I should check on the <laughs> website again, but I think there's a part of the armor that is not modified by the part of the mod I use, but you could make it so that it would modify that part too, though it would modify it also on every other outfit that you'd use, which is why I did not use it. Oh, great! Now it launches and well okay that was not exactly the point right away I mainly launched the game just because I wanted to oh yeah great uh, yeah I guess <laughs> so I mainly started it to make a test earlier so that's just great and everything's lagging now I'm not even sure. Well, yeah, I'm gonna quit it. Yeah, sorry about that, folks. Yeah, there's this. The fact that it's so long to load. So yeah, the, the mod, I haven't installed it completely, but if you're up to it, uh, the guy, which I can't remember the name right now because I do that, I don't remember names. Well, he made a, he made it so it's possible to have the whole outfit changed, though it's gonna change the other outfit for Liara too. So, any time now. Oh, Christopher Rod unlocked something. I don't get how he did that, but yeah, okay. So even this is screwed. It just goes to show that I did not play for a long time. Oh, there we go. I could click all this time. But I'm... Okay. Sorry about all the wait. Especially since... It may look as if I'm about over to showing the mods. When you see the folders. But... Actually, I still have most of the mods to show off. Uh, okay, so which one was it? I don't remember their names. Losery Prime, exactly. There we go. I'm going to show you what I tried to explain while things loaded. Uh, did I write something there? Nope, I didn't. Should be okay. <laughs> uh, okay, why is that? Why is that? So maybe something concerning Liara? What's it called? Uh, Liara and seven carbon fiber. Let's put in something like that. Liara and seven maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay, there you go. And uh, installation. Nope. So optional crest brace breather. That's the thing I'm not using. So it will. If you install the TPF file directly, it will apply to all the Aras outfit. However, you could... Oh, there you go. You could install the modded files selectively, but you've got to follow instructions below. And I didn't feel like it, because I just want to be sure I don't get any surprise. So that's that. All right. Checking the rest, because it's far from over. Artemis is a nice lady that made a lot of modes, and they all look amazing. So there are our Max Arena mod. I've been using the Ash F, uh, Ash F model. There you go. And... Um, okay, so mod 1. Okay, I made a different folder for the whether it's uh, installed in t in a TPF or mod, because you can also go into uh, 
not this, sorry. When you install mo modes, there are two ways to install them. Uh, so you could either go into TPF DDS tools for TPFs, or you could go into ModMaker, is it? I'm pretty sure it's ModMaker, which I'm not going to click right away because I want to be sure not to modify anything. But yeah, you click on it and there's a whole uh, there's a whole tutorial by Artemis on how to install these, but it's quite simple. And then okay, so I could I can name them too. So there are four ED mo mods to uh, well it modifies her mesh actually and this one is actually for th her introduction when it's Dr. Eva Corey. So if you've watched my previous video I'm pretty sure that didn't spoil anything. Look at all these mods. So there's, there's set armor pack Artemis you can see right off the bat this is a very large file. It modifies every single every single piece of armor that Commander Shepard is going to wear. And I'm not speaking about the single armor, but rather the customizable armor. So this mod is just amazing. I'm pretty sure uh, Smartek also modifies it, but this one from Artemis will save you loads of time because it modifies all of them at once. And it's very nice to look at too. So there's the science outfits, which is basically almost every doctor that you will encounter will be wearing this outfit and it's going to be high definition. There's the Normandy, which is probably the outer hull, uh, Valiant, Avenger, Carniflex, Predator, so Predator, sorry, so that's four mods. Uh, Liara mods, Collector Edition too, because I, I bought it. Geez, I think I gave way too much money to Bioware for all the, th the stuff that I bought, like three times or something like that, because I have it on Xbox too. So there's Kyling, that fucker gets a new uh, appearance. Hoodie with red pockets. Garrus alternate face, so he looks better. Uh, Vega, Caden, Edie again. Garrus combat fatigues. Uh, not sure what it is exactly, I don't remember. I don't recall. But it's compatible with the rest. Citadel environment makes it a little looks better. Not sure it's compatible with Smartix version. So this this one's I've installed just Artemis's one. This is a casual outfit. Ashley Alliance dress blues looks very good. Every time you've got anyone into uh, Alliance officer dress, this makes them looks way better. And it also modifies Hackett and Anderson, which Smartic does, but separ separately. So with this one, you are sure to get these. Of course, uh, Anderson almost never wears his uh, dress blues. Uh, he's more in uh, his combat fatigues, but yeah. And uh, Alliance Cruiser, so these looks better into cutscenes. ED, okay, so we get it. Zipped, not sure what that is. Oh yeah, there we go. So these are the zipped version. And Smartek. These are the ones I have not installed yet. Not sure about the multi-level multi materials. Might install it. I'm not sure what it does anymore. Uh, I don't recall exactly where we were, because last time we, we were on Benning. Omega DLC HD pack. I don't feel like I'm going to install this one. Neither this one, because I'm scared I'm gonna break something. But I'm definitely going to try it eventually and maybe tell you guys if it works. Depending on how how much interest I can get with this Let's Play, which is not that much. 
to be honest, from what I've seen as of now. Um, Leviathan DLC, neither am I going to install this one. Uh, I feel like I've installed this one. So, there's this. Okay, so not installed because not compatible. These kind of broke the game. Uh, oh, there you go. I will not be installing that one then. Will not. Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> it's always good to look in there. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, I've installed this one, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Did I? Did we get the Protheon? I think we did. I think. Okay, so these are the ones that I've installed yet. As you can see, the list is quite ex extensive. Uh, we've got Rex and Reeve default armor, though it's not going to be useful for Reeve because I don't like this son of a bitch and I always keep Rex because he's more badass and doesn't give you shit like Reeve does. Though, having a Reeve has its advantage. Uh, you can have funny outcomes or you can just screw with the Krogans around, which you wouldn't be able with Rex in charge. So, yeah, there's this. Weapon... I don't know why it's written Weapon D, but whatever. Scorpion, Lancer, Shuriken, Saber, Black Widow, Mantis... Uh, this... M27. Feels like a shotgun, but I'm not sure which one. Hmm. The Scimitar or something? I don't know. Grohl Spike? Growl spike, pardon me. Geth plasma shotgun, which was my favorite one in Mass Effect 2. Um, the Harrier that a lot of people appreciate. Blood pack punisher. This, this is the shit into Mass Effect 3. If you're gonna do multiplayer, blood pack punisher plus something to re prevent the recoil is as good as the the N7, N7 Hurricane, there you go. So this is a very great SMG. Vindicator Retexture, okay, uh, so that's it for weapons, I guess. We've got two armors for Vega, Vancouver Retexture, Utiku, uh, Turian Soldier Armors. To Chanka, Structural Materials, though I don't think we've been there yet, but we will very soon. So I'm pretty pretty much ready to go into to Chanka now, I guess, according to my mods. There's Taint Heroes, he's installed. We might end up seeing him into Mass Effect 3, those of you have, that has seen uh, that has played the game will know about this. Surkesh, we've been there. I think there was a weapon we didn't find last time. I don't recall why. I think I made some research and found out why, but I forgot. Stars, Ships of Reapers, Robo, Super Dog, Reaper, Brute. So that pretty much covers it. I'm just going to leave it right there because I'm kind of tired to read these so just just take a quick look maybe pause pause the video and you'll see what's installed okay so this has been installed it's perfect uh, ending here when I reach the ending just to be sure I don't have any bugs I'm going to uninstall every single mother freaking mods and install these then I'll be sure I won't have any bugs. So that's my plan for uh, the mud mudding session and the let's play. So next video is going to be a video of uh, gameplay. I hope I can do it pretty soon. Uh, my girlfriend shall be back from whatever training she's doing right now. 
so it might not be the best time to record so I'm going to see whether I do record right now or I wait later so that's it guys thank you very much for looking this uh, mudding interlude or whatever this is called and I uh, hope it helped you install mods in fact I think I'm just going to try to show you the other thing yeah I'm gonna show you the mod maker I'm pretty sure I won't have any trouble so file yeah you you go into file load jobs and then you find your uh, mod file in Atomus's case it could be here Eddie alt Mac you click open I just hope oh yep yeah, okay so it added the job which I could install by going into run and then it's it's going to prompt me whether I want to run one job or all jobs but I just don't want to try it right away so yeah you just click on run run all then it installs the thing and then that's it I recommend that you do install not a lot of mods at a time if possible because that's how you make things bugs so that's it see you next time bye bye